We're given an expression here and we're asked to factor it completely. All right, so let's just quickly write this out. X plus one minus three X plus one. And so you might stop and think, oh, well, we could just multiply this out and then kind of distribute this and that. And come up with a quadratic expression that we could factor from there. You certainly that would work out fine. Um, but another way to look at this is say, we have a common factor in both of these terms, and that's x plus one. And so if you don't recognize that, just think of it this way. If we had this and we saw, oh, we have y in both of those terms, that would be our common factor there. And we pull the y out and we'd be left with x minus three. And so we can do essentially the same thing over here in that the x plus one, we can just treat that as a unit, kind of like our y there. So if we pulled the x plus one out to the front and we were to say x plus one times what gives us this first term? Well, x. x times what gives us this second term? Well, a negative three. And so we can see that same kind of idea here. And so there's our answer all factored out there. Now, if we were doing it on a test, you had a little bit of time, I might be tempted to say, well, we could have distributed that out in this first case. In other words, go back and do that distribution now, and then we can do the same thing here, and they better turn out to be the same because factoring um, an expression like this doesn't change it. It's just changing the form. So multiplying it all out, we should be able to come up with that same quadratic expression.